<laughs> My name is Kaylin Sematab. I'm from the ACP province and I'll be studying electrical engineering at South Dakota State University in America. So, um, ex Pom uh, National High School? Yes. But Moshmi National School of X. So, what do you hope to get out of uh, your scholarship in America? Yeah, so I hope to gain a world-class education, broaden my horizons, and with that, bring back valuable knowledge and skills to contribute to Papua New Guinea in its development. Yes, I'd like to thank the current government for this opportunity, my family for their unwavering support, and my teachers for, dedica for their, their dedication and um, support as well. Because this opportunity wouldn't, I wouldn't have this opportunity without them. I'm very excited for this experience. I'm looking forward to um, representing our country and to make the most of it. So my name is McLean Moore. Uh, the last School of Excellence that I attended was Sogari National School of Excellence. Um, I'll be studying flight instruction. So basically my thought, um, I'm really fortunate and privileged to be part of the STEM scholarship. And it's a once in a lifetime opportunity and I'm so glad to be part of it. And I'm so also grateful to our sponsors. And I know uh, there's a lot on our shoulders right now, expectations and all, but I'm sure at the end, uh, we all want to do something for our country and we will bring back something to the country. And I look forward to the journey with my mates and the coordinators and everyone. Thank you. A word of advice to the juniors that are coming up. Uh, I know the STEM exam, they are moving it forward. Um, best of luck in the exam. Always put God first. Um, yeah, and study. Study is the only key to success. Thank you, that's it. My name is Barbara Landa. I am from Lin Bay province. I last attended Port Moresby National School of Excellence and I'll be studying aerospace engineering at the University of North Dakota. It's a great opportunity to study abroad yeah, and then to come back and help our country. My name is John, my surname is Kip and uh, I'm going to study uh, biomedical engineering in the uh, United States uh, in the University of North Dakota, and uh, I'll be doing my bachelor degree at uh, about four years, and then I'll graduate and I come back to my country and then I work here. Why I chose uh, biomedical engineering in there because I see that there's, there's a big need for biomedical engineers in the country. So it's like I'm um, excited about the scholarship and then I'm proud to go. Where are you from? I'm from uh, Jiwaka at um, Anglim South Walk in Minsk District. Okay. And which school did you finish from? Uh, I graduated, I did my grade 12 at uh, 11 and 12 at National okay. School of Excellence, Pasan. Okay, good. Hi there, um, so my name is uh, Bill Awei. Um, I last started the career at the National School of Excellence. Um, I just finished from uh, Unitech, we draw them now. Um, I'll be taking a um, mechanical engineer at uh, South Dakota State University. Um, yeah, and it's been a uh, it's a great opportunity for all of us and uh, to me, um, I'm really excited, also half scared, <laughs> I mean it's, it is a new place that we're going after all, but um, I'm excited to go there and for us, um, it's something, it's a new change for all of us and I think um, going there, it's something that will motivate us to um, do our best and to make our fellow countrymen and others um, coming after us proud to take up this uh, journey with us. Yeah, thank you. So my name is Keith Amas Kubale. The last school I attended was National School of Excellence, Passau. And I will be studying precision agriculture in South Dakota State University. Precision agriculture is a course of 
yeah, something to do with agriculture, studying weather patterns and predicting the soil conditions and stuff like that. And yeah, I'm excited to take that course. And um, yeah, I'm excited and I'm nervous to travel to the United States. And um, <laughs> yeah, don't know what, don't know what to expect when I go there. Any more questions? Okay. And uh, what do you hope to uh, learn in the U.S. and come back to PNG? What do you hope? Uh, I hope to learn as much as I can and build my skills in the course. Build my skills in the degree that I'll be learning there and hopefully come back in to PNG and implement the knowledge that I've learned down there. Um, hi, my name is Hannah Marie Kiki. I am from East Sipik province and I last attended Sogeri National School of Excellence. I will be attending uh, South Dakota State University and I will be taking up mechanical engineering specialized in aerospace engineering. Um, I am so thankful to the government for this opportunity that they've given us to go fully funded scholarship. Thank you very much. And after graduating, I plan on coming back and working with New Guinea or ExxonMobil. Thank you. Anything else you want to say? Just thank the good Lord for everything that he's done. My name is Lemek Romius. Um, I'm from Eastern Highlands Province. Um, I'll be taking biotechnology in South Dakota State University. And um, for me, this is a, it's a new journey and I'm really excited and thrilled also. I'm very, um, uh, what, what should I say, nervous about what the future ha holds for me out there. But Overall, um, after tonight's program, um, I feel really motivated and encouraged and I'm ready to see go out there and enjoy my four years uh, studying in the United States. Thank you. Um, my name is Mavis Londet. I'm from Enga. Um, I've attended Port Moresby National School of Excellence and I was accepted to study in Nicol State University. I'll be taking a biological scientist. Um, what my thoughts on STEM is that it's a great opportunity giving us um, broader options on our career pathways as well. Um, unlike in PNG we don't have a lot of facilities to help us do research um, because STEM is uh, more of like a field that we have to do hands-on activities so this gives us an opportunity to actually look into um, in detail of what we have to study but all in all it's a great opportunity that um, the government has given to us STEM students and to help us contribute back to the country as we all know the current state of PNG needs um, STEM can aid in um, saving PNG thank you uh, my name is Nerius Murphy. Um, I last attended uh, Kerawat National School of Excellence and uh, I'm from West New Britain. Um, I will be taking marine biology at uh, Nicole State University. Yes, and uh, I see this scholarship program as a great opportunity for me. And um, I would say it's not by my own strength, but it's God's strength that take me that far. And uh, I would like to say thank you for the hard, uh, the tiring uh, people who are behind this scholarship. And uh, thank you to the Prime Minister and this team for this great uh, opportunity for me, for this scholarship. And I assure that we will bring the best out of this. and. We'll come back and repay what the government has done for us. We'll be an asset to this nation. Thank you. Um, thank you. My my name is Eronia Kamo. I'm from Manus, and the last uh, national high school I attended was uh, Maui National School of Excellence. And the course I will be taking in USA is um, computer science. And yeah. My opinion about the going of us there, um, I was excited. I know my parents and everyone is excited for me going on. So, like, personally, like, going on, I wasn't, like, excited about the lifestyle that I would be, like, experiencing there. It's all about the better facilities for studying and improving my course and knowledge. Yeah. And for my country, I 
I really appreciate the support and after graduating, I'll be back in the country, serving the country. Uh, this is the second lot of students who are going to America. Last year we sent successfully 43 students. This year we worked on 100 applications and 76 students now stand by to travel. So we chose three universities, that is uh, South Dakota, big number 49, and North Dakota 15, and Nichols State University 12 students. And they have gone, they are going to fly as of uh, Tuesday, and they will arrive this week, and this is the, uh, they will attend their orientation and will start classes following week. And thank you to the government and uh, all the members who are involved in supporting these ones. And thank you very much. And how are the first group doing in India? Oh, the first lot we took them, they really enjoyed themselves and we took them to the huge campus called Lowly Professional University, a city called Jalandhar in Punjab state, north of Delhi. It's about 300 kilometers north of Delhi. And they all into, settled well and they are attending classes various degree programs. Thank you. And we have another group uh, going to China. Next yes, week. around 50, 55 students are going to China in the month of, uh, end of uh, September, October, and they'll start their engineering courses there. And five students will go to Fiji to attend pilot training courses. Very good. Thank you. Any other comments you want to make? About the uh, thank you. This STEM program is a very important program. These students have uh, really worked very well. They deserve to be recognized and it's a government initiative it's an investment into the future uh, hopefully they will fare well and study well and come back and help the country also find employment elsewhere so that's what the government wants so we are opening the opportunity and more spaces outside of Papua New Guinea we also appreciate all other uh, universities for offering places but we need to send them outside as well thank you